Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we will talk about the custom styles and the project settings tools. All right, so this is our um, demo project here. And uh, what the custom styles enables you to do is with all the uh, great tools that we give you to style, we recognize that sometimes you want to use your custom CSS. So in order, in order for you to use these uh, custom CSS, we added in the project settings tools a way for you to inject styles. So if I'll click the configuration, I can see that we can use the source um, of CSS. We can write content, content directly here. And obviously you can add multiple CSS files, styles, or write your own content onto that style. And you can control a bunch of stuff here. Um, so let, let's do something simple here. So we, we see that we have um, a comment here, a placeholder to access element by ID, use the following pattern. We see div ID, element UID, and write the CSS. So let's see what we can do with this. So let's say we go to a button and with any element on the screen, you can do this and I'll click configure and I'll head over to metadata. I can see that field ID is right there. And this is what I need in order for me to control that style for that specific um, element. And obviously you can do a lot more general stuff. This is just a simple example of how to use this. So if I'll go over here and I'll say button and I'll do ID equals my element ID. And then I'll say, let's say back, let's set the background to black. And let's grab, I'll grab this again and I'll say this will be blue. And I'll grab the other button. So let's apply this and I'll grab the UID from the other button. And I'll head back to styles, to tools, custom styles. And let's put this guy over here. And let's apply this and I'll publish and we will be able to see the difference. So let's launch the site and I can see that the styles were overridden from the custom styles that we added. So we have this one in black and you can control the hoover and you can, you name it, whatever you want, you can override with the custom styles. And if I'll head back, and remove it. So let's delete the whole thing and I'll hit apply and publish. Everything is back to normal. And this is how it's done.